Jedi YMZ. Riot axes proposed Pantheon buffs by adding resistance up in power to E based on level and scaling. Keen disagrees with this. Um, Pantheon needs damage buff scaling and bonus HP if you want to be played Bruiser, who isn't. Shit. Um, he might need damage, but the thing is, is that Pantheon is very binary right now. Um, he, he either works or he doesn't in a number of situations. And so the reason Axis is proposing a buff like the E armor and magic resist is to make it so even if you're behind Pantheon and therefore don't get the invulnerability, armor MR buffs for the E is to make it so uh, he is a more functional top laner against a larger percentage of the people he runs into in that lane. That would be my guess as to why that's there and why he's thinking about it. <clears throat> I'm not a Pantheon main. I don't know exactly if that's the perfect change, but like I can give you like some some descriptions of like why we might do that. Magic resist is to make it so even if you're behind Pantheon and therefore don't get the invulnerability, um, uh, he'll still be a functional character. And that actually is really important for top lane specifically because a lot of top laners are melees who will walk up to Pantheon, he'll E and they can walk behind him. Uh, Pantheon's E is a lot better in mid lane um, where the people he's facing are ranged and can never get behind him. And so I'm imagine, I imagine one of the reasons Axis is thinking about armor MR 